Six-footers will find they have plenty of space in both the front and the back of the duster, and it's also possible to fit three people side by side in the back. That said, the boot has a high loading lip to negotiate and although the rear seats fold to increase storage for large items, they don't go completely flat, and if you opt for the cheapest version of the duster they don't even fold into separate pieces. There aren't many storage cubbies in the front of the car. Either dot some people will struggle to find a comfortable driving position in the duster, because its steering wheel doesn't adjust for reach, meaning you can end up driving with your arms stretched almost straight to reach the wheel. The cheapest access version also misses out on seat height adjustment, and the seats in all models would benefit from more support. Fortunately, the soft suspension is good at disguising lumps and bumps in the road surface. Of the three engines, the turbocharged 1.25-liter petrol is by far the smoothest, while at the other end of the spectrum the 1.5-liter diesel is noisy and sends vibrations through the pedals and steering, and the 1.6-liter petrol lacks zoom. All dusters let in a lot of wind and road noise on the motorway, too.